Alrighty, guys, so we just hit power hour about 15 minutes ago. Ibiz is looking at me like, what are you doing again, Daddy? Well, I'm making a video, all right? Are you going to let me make a video? Okay, we're good. So we just hit power hour about 15 minutes ago, and the markets have really been heating up these past roughly two hours. You guys can see the s and is currently up about 0.4%. The Russell's up 1.2%. The Nasdaq's up 02 And we have the Dow up about 06 So we have to break down the markets very briefly. And we're going to go over some stocks. You guys saw the title. That might never come back. These stocks could be dead within a few years. So if you all find value, hit the like button, subscribe, join my Patreon, and make sure to get your five stocks for Moomoo. Moo. All that is linked down below, and let's get right into the video. So like I said, these markets have really been heating up these past roughly two to almost three hours now at about 12.30 p.m. on the East Coast. That's where we really started running up on SPY, and you guys can see that on the five-day and on this intraday chart that I just pulled up. Right around 12.30 on the East Coast, we were at about 4.46 on SPY. Now we're well above 4.50. We're almost at 4.51, and we've rallied about uh, about roughly 1% since that 12.30 bottom. So the markets are starting to gain some steam. And I've been saying this, guys, if SPY breaks 4.55, this thing could start flying, no joke. And uh, when it comes to Triple Q, this tracks the NASDAQ 100. If this breaks 370, that is where Triple Q could really start to fly. And take a look at this. If I pull up the intraday chart, you can see just about, at 12:30, same with the S&P, right? This was at 3:55, and it's rallied about one, a little bit over one percent since that point. So over the past two to three hours. So we'll see how, uh, you know, what is it? Power Hour ends up finishing out here. We do have about 40 minutes left in the session, and I will be making another video later today. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button on this one if you are finding value. Now let's talk about these stocks that. Very well might never come back. I mean, these stocks, some worse than others, they might just be bankrupt within the next couple of years for all we know. So stock number one, you probably know this company. You definitely know this company. It's Nikola, ticker symbol NKLA. And we're not going to talk about the fundamentals because, quite honestly, there's really not many fundamentals. You know, there's not much of a backing for this company. It's really it's really just a worthless company. I mean, at this point in time, I looked at their revenues. They really haven't made any money revenue-wise. And obviously, if they haven't made money revenue-wise, they're not making money on the bottom line. And this company has really just been a fraud since the start. And yes, they're trying to turn things around. They dropped their Tesla lawsuit recently, I think. Um, I forget when that was, but that was a $2 billion lawsuit. They dropped that lawsuit, right? They're trying to turn things around. But for me, guys, it's going to take a complete rebranding. They're going to have to wipe out the entire management team, bring new management team in for this company to even turn around. You know, if you guys don't even know about Nikola, it was a fraud company from the start, right? They were acting like they made these awesome semi trucks, electric, you know, they. There And on the video, the semi-truck looked like it was driving, but it was actually rolling downhill. And, you know, fast forward a couple of months after this ran up to about $93. That was back in June 2020. Fast forward a little bit, we find out Trevor Milton, then the uh, CEO, he's now, I mean, he's gone. You know, he's facing a lot of legal trouble. We thought... It was legit, but then we found out it was a fraud. You know, he was a fraudster. He bought this big mansion. I think it was in Utah or something. He's blowing money. If you see your CEO blowing money on a company that, again, like we said, there's no revenue, there's no profits. If you see this, that is a huge, huge red flag. So Nikola at this point, Trevor Milton's gone. There's a lot of legal trouble, but they are trying to turn things around. And again, I don't think they'll do it. I don't think they're going to do it. You know, this could easily be one of those companies that goes under in this whole, you know, EV craze that we're seeing. At the end of the day, there's only going to be a handful of EV companies that succeed. And uh, a lot of these are going to go bankrupt. I think Nikola is going to end up being one of them. The next company here, which is probably a controversial one, it's Dave & Buster's, ticker symbol, P-L-A-Y. And the truth is, 
I love Dave and Buster's. I love going there. Well, honestly, I don't really go there much anymore. I mean, I've gone maybe a couple times over the past couple of years, but I went more as a kid. It's a great experience. You know, they have a lot of games there. They they have bars now. I mean, it's kind of like a sports bar with all the games. It, it's a great experience, but the truth is the pandemic really tested this business. They almost went under. This stock went from $59 back in uh, roughly May of 2019. So almost three years ago, 59 bucks all the way down to $4.60. So it got demolished. And overall, since it's been public, it's gone down from $73 to $4. Now it's sitting at about $38. And let me pull up quickly. Let's see if I can show you guys these numbers. Give me a second. Um, if I pull this up, Yahoo Finance, there we go. If I make this a bit smaller, okay. Let me show you this. If I pull up Dave & Buster's right now, their market cap, and by the way, Nikola's market cap is about $3 billion, which is completely laughable. Dave & Buster's market cap is about $1.84 billion. Do you guys see this right here as the stock's currently sitting at about $38 a share. And if I pull up Quick FS, this again, a $1.84 billion company. If I show you guys, and by the way, this is not sponsored by any of these, you know, Quick FS, Yahoo Finance, I just actually use these platforms. If I show you Dave and Buster's, you can see how. I mean, this company got devastated. They're now back to levels that we haven't been at since before 2012, which is crazy. Look at this revenue in 2021, guys. They did 437 million in revenue, and in 2012 they did 542 in revenue, and in 2020 they did 1.3 billion. So they dropped from 1.3 billion to 437 million. So you might be saying, Stas, it's because of the pandemic. They're they're probably going to back long term, uh, going to bounce back long term. That's what that's what uh, you might be saying to yourself. And they very well might bounce back. But the truth is, I'm not really seeing it. You know, I think they could bounce back maybe to doing a billion a year, 1.2 billion a year. But I think there's going to be bigger and better things out there, you know, in terms of experiences. And Dave and Buster could really end up just being one of those legacy um, brands that we remember, like Blockbuster, you know, that we think, you know, oh, remember Dave and Buster's? Oh, yeah, what happened to Dave and Buster's? Oh, they're gone. You know, I think that could be one of them. And I could be wrong. You know, the numbers are showing, again, a huge decline. So the numbers back me up now. But we'll see in 5, 10 years how things end up playing out. Will they get back to the 2020 levels? Will they die off? I don't know. I don't know. It's only uh, it's going to be a matter of time. So that's Dave and Buster's. And the next one here is Peloton, guys, ticker symbol P-T-O-N. And let me tell you guys, Peloton, they have a good product. I'm not dogging on them as a as a, a product, right? The, the product is great, but the company's going through a lot of problems right now. And this will end up probably getting acquired, so keep that in mind. They're probably going to get acquired, so they're not, they might not never come back, um, but the truth is, the stock price will never be, uh, never, uh, what am I trying to say here? Never be back to 170 bucks, right? There's no way. This stock was at peak, you know, euphoria back in 2021, early 2021, literally a year ago. It hit 170 bucks. Now it's down to 30 bucks on rumors that they're going to be bought out by Amazon. The stock's up 22% right now, which is great, but keep in mind, it's up 22%. And it's overall down 80% from that 170 high. So there's no way that Peloton's going to come back. Do I think their brand is going to just go down the toilet? Not necessarily. I think demand's going down the toilet, but their brand is pretty strong. And if they get bought out, again, by Apple, Amazon, whoever buys them out, they're going to be able to revive this brand Hopefully, you know, yes, the demand is going to be down a bit in the near term, maybe long term, who knows. Um, and they're struggling as a business on their own. But if they get bought out, they're going to be able to be integrated into these big, big tech businesses, Amazon, Apple, whoever buys them out. And that will revive them over time. Uh, but on their own, will they get back to 170 bucks a share? There is no freaking way in the uh, in the world that that's going to happen, at least in my opinion. Another company here, a bonus one, for all you guys that stuck till the end, and if you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, 
and drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on these stocks. Do you think these stocks are going to die out, come back, never come back? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Another one here is Macy's, ticker symbol M. If you guys take a look at this stock's performance over the past couple of decades, it has not been good. Well, not a couple of decades. Um, let's say, hmm, why is this only going back to 07? Why is it only going back to 07? Let me see if I could pop this up on Yahoo Finance. But overall, since, let's say, 2015, this stock is down from 75 bucks to about 25 It's down 70% in the past seven, eight years. And it's got to be down... I think this one was a lot higher in early 2000s. I could be wrong. Let me pop up Yahoo Finance again. I could be horribly wrong on that. But Macy's is one of these that's probably going to end up going under at some point in time. There's some that I don't think, like Nordstrom. I think that one has a longer lifespan. But Macy's, for some reason, it's not even popping up here. Uh, there it is. Macy's, it's dying off. Like Sears, like... What are the other ones? Lord and Taylor, you know, Boscovs. These these legacy retailers are seriously just getting destroyed. And you guys can see here Macy's. Yeah, look at this. Back in the 90s, Macy's and early 2000s, it was above where it is right now, or at least early 2000s it was. And even in the 90s, we were at about $26, $27 a couple of times. This stock is not doing well, guys, historically. It's on the decline. So what do you think about that? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Again, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you haven't done so already, join my Patreon if you want all my moves, Discord access, morning update videos, all that good stuff is linked down below on Patreon. And make sure to get your five stocks for Moo Moo. Use my link, deposit $100. We could each get up to five stocks, each of which could be valued up to $3,500. Get your money from Moo Moo, link down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.